Hello my dear students good afternoon today we shall read about the chapter second we are not afraid to die first of all let us come and be familiar with the characters the character number 1 is the narrator the narrator is a 37 year old businessman mary Mary is his wife. Sue, full name is Suzanne, his daughter of seven years old. Jo John, full name is Jonathan, his son of six years old. Larry Wiesel, an American crewman. Crewman means the expert boating person. Herb Sizzler, a Swiss crewman. now in this lesson we shall see that the narrator is going to start a journey by the sea from from plymouth england here england it is from plymouth england to to the round of the earth 200 years before there was a there was a wiser Wise, wise means the journey by the sea. There was a wiser named James Cook. He had completed the journey of the world, and now, in 1976, James Cook, with his wife and two children, wants to complete the journey for the second time. Means he wants to duplicate this journey, journey of the world. now we shall see the journey starts on in july 1976 and they came along with the coastal area of south africa to cape town and up to this the journey was very pleasant very comfortable and when they started to the east to the east from cape town on the second day they saw that uh, there was huge waves and strong winds were coming towards them now it was december and on 25th december they were they were happy and they were enjoying the christmas day and they were thinking that this disaster will pass away very soon but opposite to it the disaster was worsening and worsening and now they had passed 15 days and they had completed 105000 kilometers of the journey from cape town now on 2nd january they were facing the most dangerous disaster and from second journey to a few weeks they had to face this disaster and really the waves were so high as 15 meters up 15 meters high and they were dashing against the boat the boat was time and again turning over into the sea over the sea sometimes it seemed that the boat was going to sink at that time the narrator once the narrator thrown out by the sea wave into the sea and now he was a few meters away from the wave walker wave walker is the name of the ship with the help of which the narrator was going to complete his journey by the sea now he saw that he was drowning under the sea waves and uh, when he his mouth was out of the water he saw that uh, the wave walker was also turning over it seemed that it would sink down it would sink down into the water but 
the wave from the opposite direction dashed against the boat and it it uh, rose up right and uh, fortunately the narrator also was thrown by a sea wave into the deck of the ship deck means the front side of the the front chamber of the ship so he was thrown on the deck of the ship also now he is uh, he has caught hold the stern part of the ship and uh, his wife his children were living or staying in the chamber under the deck now the sea waves were breaking the hulls and planks of the ship and both all of all of them were very uh, afraid but the narrator does not want to investigate where his wife was where his children were at that time his wife he opened the door of the deck and she said to her husband means the narrator that uh, they were going to die because the sea was breaking the ship was breaking but he did not respond her wife his wife again he was trying to fight with the sea waves and he saw that harbi and larry both were pumping out the water but after some time the pump was disordered because the debris debris means the wastes of the things in a mass the when the sea waves were breaking the planks of the ship he saw that the cloths the tins and the jib the toys and other things were thrown out into the water and due to these debris the pipe of the water pump was choked and the water pump was not working then the narrator went to the deck or on the floor of the deck and he saw that the two spare hand pumps were also there but uh, the hand pump pump and other things like uh, mast like jibs like dinghies all these things were pulled away by the current of the sea and these two hand pumps were not working then while searching he found a uh, electric an electric pump and he connected a uh, out an out pipe to the water and he started the pump and he was lucky that the pump was working and the water was going out of the sea and uh, this pumping pumping of the water was being done by larry and harbi and he found some screws hammer wrenches and other things and also a uh, a large piece of uh, canvas he began to cover up the holes of the ship with the help of this canvas and also he ma- he made the loop of the mooring rope and he lashed the eastern part of the ship double times also he connected the ship with the life line life line means here a rope of life line with the with the help of which the the people who were on the journey they were uh, saving their life and also they put on the life jackets waterproof waterproof jackets and other things and they were fighting on and on without losing their heart and uh, 
in the morning of the 3rd january they saw that the wind was less severe means the wind slowed down to a little and uh, it was the respiratory time for them respiratory time means the time of relief for them and now they were the herbi and lairi they were pumping out the water from the sick and uh, the narrator was the narrator was uh, packing up the holes of the sick with the canvas cloth and they had got they had got the control on coming water into the ship and uh, they had reached uh, to the few centimeters of the water in the ship now uh, now this relief was not for long time it was very short lived and uh, on 4th july again they saw at 4 pm in the evening that uh, the clouds were building up in the sky and uh, the bright sky was being dark again the huge waves began to rise high up and they were they were going uh, ahead toward the ship and again these huge waves began to dash against the ship and the side board of the ship side board means here the right hand side of the ship the side board of the ship was broken and the beams of the ship were also broken now again the narrator took a nylon a nylon a rope it was a large rope and it was uh, connected with the joint with the anchor he wanted to stop the sea by pulling the anchor into the water in order to slow down the speed of the boat and also with a waterproof proof plastic cover he began to he began to block the uh, hatches of the ship hatches means the planks of the deck the wooden planks of the deck he began to block up all these holes and uh, he used not only the plastic cover but also two barrels of paraffin which were containing 22 liters of paraffin and with the use of these things and also with a strong will power and with a firm determination all of them were fighting with the waves at that time susan his daughter of 7 years old had got a bump over his head over her head and she was badly injured but uh, the narrator did not uh, care to it uh, on the other hand he was fighting with the waves and uh, once at that time mary was going to lose her heart and his son jonathan came out of the chamber and he said to his father whether he was going to die the father said the father said that they were not going to die and he would make it up then the little child said that they were not afraid to die if they were all if they can all be together and in this way we can see that not only the adults but the children children were also very brave uh, now this this uh, strong winds were blowing till the morning of 5 january sorry till the night of 5 january and on 6 january 
the wind was not uh, so strong so cruel and at that time the narrator went to the chart room and he found a sextant and he began to calculate for the australia and he saw that it was th- uh, 3500 km far from there but the ship was not so strong to take them to that place but they were fighting with the full courage at that time on 4 january after 30 hours of period uh, mary and uh, the narrator got the time to take the first meal of corned beef and uh, and cracker biscuits it was on 3rd and 4th january but now again when the disastrous wind began to blow they were facing the have on 6 january the narrator calculate calculated on the sextant that uh, there were there were two islands near the australia and uh, they could reach there till 5 pm on 6 january so he went down to the chamber and on the bank he dozed off miss he slumbered he slept for some time and now it was 6 o'clock in the evening his his son jonathan came to him and he woke him up and said that uh, he wanted to embrace the father he wanted to hug the father and sujen was also sitting uh, standing just his behind and she had made a caricature caricature means cartoon cartoon of her mother and her father and uh, this caricature was giving a message of love and thanks and both of them said to her father to their father that he was the best daddy in the world and also they said that he was the best captain in the world and in this way the son said that they had got the island the name of the island is isle amsterdam here near the australia and then with full joy and happiness the narrator went on to the deck and he saw the outline of that island it was night they went there and he anchored the boat off shore the sea and when it was morning all 28 people of that island came to cheer them up to welcome them up and they helped them to go down on the land of the island and in this way the narrator began to think of the contribution of larry harby and his son and daughter and uh, in the last he took his he saw the injury of his daughter and uh, he took her to the hospital hospital and uh, her head was operated and six stitches were made by the doctor and in this way the whole chapter ends up here and uh, now in the next video we shall discuss on the questions